Hello and welcome to a beautiful night here in Menlo Atherton, California. We have a great matchup between the MA Bears and the Sacred Heart Prep. I don't know what the Gators. team is. Gators. The Gators and the Bears. We're in for a great matchup. I'm Kieran Costa along with Lev Miller. And of course, he goes to Sacred Heart, Sacred Heart Prep himself. We got Casey. He will be uh, our Sacred Heart Analysis guy. We have him right here. Um, let's hope he doesn't get beat up because it is a raucous crowd here. We are sitting in the middle of the MA sideline and they love their football here at Menville Atherton, but we're in for a good one. The five and one Sacred Heart Prep Gators come into Coach Parks Field and we're in for a great, it's a raucous crowd on both sides as we still see the, the student section filling in on the far side. And let's get some quick predictions and analysis. I'm gonna start with you, Casey. You go to Sacred Heart. Just give us the quick on this varsity team and how do you think they're gonna to do tonight? Again, five and one coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, this Sacred Heart Prep Gators can play the game of football. They're a fundamentally sound. Coach Grieben, his third year here at Sacred Heart, is an unreal coach and he's leading Teddy Purcell, the junior quarterback, to an IC. Senior running back to Vita Moimo, offers from Harvard and Air Force. Absolutely amazing season so far, and they are so hungry for a win against MA. They haven't won since 2014, since when Seahawks um, linebacker Ben Burkirvan was here. Sacred Heart, they are ready, and they are ready for a win. And what's your prediction, Casey? I believe the Sacred Heart Prep Gators will come in so hot, so ready. However, this Menlo Atherton team is amazing, and I think they'll get the dub. Lev, real quick before the national anthem, who's your pick for this game? If this crowd stays as hyped as they were when they first ran out of the field, MA, I don't think Sacred Heart can fight against that. As we will throw you to our the PA announcer here at Coach Parks Field for the national anthem. And that's the Hawkeye right there, Bob. MA. As you see, the Hawka from the MA Bears, they do that before every game, and it has gotten them a lot of good luck in the last couple years. They have just been a great team. What more can you say on that, Casey? They are a great team. They won the state championship last year, and they hate Sacred Heart, and I mean hate. They had an event today for, at 11 a.m. where they had a school assembly where they chopped a gator in half, brought in a gator from Florida, and cooked it up. They do not like Sacred Heart at all. And just a quick backstory, they do the Hawka because they have a lot of Pacific Islanders on their squad. That's a that's a dance they do a lot there. And uh, that was led by a Pacific Islander. A lot of their defense offense is line from there. So that is why they do that here. And now we are ready for the national anthem here sang by the Menlo Atherton Choir. Who knew football Two captains from MA, four captains for Sacred Heart, captains for Sacred Heart, Tavina Moimoy, Thomas Hardy, Peter Desler. And it looks like J.P. Frimmel, captains for Menlo Atherton, number two. Matt Martin McLeod, McCart. the yeah. sophomore QB, and number 27, Postire, the senior. Yeah. Last year, this game was the same. M.A. wanted to win it, everything was the same, except it was at Sacred Heart. And M.A. went into Sacred Heart and won 30-0. to zero. The quarterback for Sacred Heart, though, was the QB for Menlo Atherton, Raymond Price the third? He transferred to Menlo Atherton after the season, and now he's that must going have hurt against his for old. For all court. you guys at Sacred Heart, having your quarterback go to, as you say, not your rival. Well, I mean, he may be the reason that they lost 30-0. Maybe. However, he is a very good player. He's a two-way quarterback too. He can run and he can throw the ball. And now I believe Lamar Jackson-esque as a, at the high school level. <laughs> MA runs a two quarterback, 
with Matt McLeod, the sophomore, and Raymond Price, the junior. Matt, they switch them up. Yeah, Matt, Matt McLeod got the start at the end of last year, leading them to that state championship. MA ready. As that was the MA choir, as we see MA goes across the field to shake hands and give hugs to the sacred hard prep team. A good show of sportsmanship between, before this very intense battle. And I'm going to give you to my main man, Lev Miller, for the play by play here in the first half. Thank you very much, Kieran Costa. We got a great matchup tonight Sacred Heart Gators versus MA Bears. This is going to be an exciting one. As we heard, Casey knows everything about Sacred Heart. And Casey, I want to know one more time, what does Sacred Heart have to do to fend off this crazy MA crowd that has been very loud so far already? You know, this MA crowd doesn't rattle Sacred Heart too much. They, they go through in practice. Yesterday, I'm a member of the JV team, so I'm next to them every practice, the varsity team. They go through concepts where kicking field goals to coaches, and they have the whole team make noise to try to simulate this crowd for Sacred Heart. They and for MA, the Sacred Heart crowd, I mean, the Sacred Heart coaches know exactly how it's going to be. They had it last year, and they're just going to try to zone them out. And the Sacred Heart student section is normal, should be coming and should get a bit bigger, as right now it's a little small. They'll come in, but this, this Menlo Atherton student section is amazing. Yeah, we don't really usually see this big of a student section here anywhere in a high school football. It's very interesting. But, you know, MA, they bring the heat and their fans do too, so. Garen, we heard you ask us what the predictions are. What are your predictions? So I'm gonna go with you two as well. I picked the Bears, and I feel like it's just because it's in this environment. I think it's gonna be a, a great, a close game, but when you when you have this fan base behind them, uh, I, I don't see them losing here. Yeah, I, definitely, I mean. Kicker for the Sacred Heart Gators, Ronan Donnelly. An unreal kicker, five-star kicker, has offers from University of Georgia, Cal, University of Tennessee, one of the best players on Sacred Heart, and he's had those offers for a while now. Wow. These Sacred Heart players have a lot of talented some, and offers from colleges, too. Some dangerous returners on Menlo Atherton. Number one, Troy Franklin, who has offers from Alabama and many more schools. Wow. He's a five-star. Yeah, and only a junior. A, a great player, and, and I would not be surprised if we saw him in the NFL one day. And he's probably going to Alabama. I actually went to middle school with Troy. He was an eighth grader, and I was a sixth grader. Wow, you're pretty cool. <laughs> I, I wish I was you. And I just want to say, Casey got seven plays for the JV team today. They did come out with a loss, but Casey did not take any part in that loss. He had a great seven snaps. My I just want to shout him out right there. My career low in snaps for the season since we lost by so much. Doesn't matter. We, we, we have a star player in our midst here. Here we go, Franklin back. We're almost off here. There's a kick. Drilled. That's going to be caught in the end zone, and it's just going to hop right on back. They're going to start from the 20-yard line. Franklin lets it bounce there, and here we go. Quarterback. We're looks underway. Quarterback looks to be Matt McLeod, the sophomore. 
So Matt McLeod, the sophomore QB, he is had a very good year so far. However, Raymond Price, they will mix them around with number four and number two. So you'll see yeah. them both. Justin QB. Anderson, I'm just going to say, is the best player in at, in at MA right now. He plays baseball, Ooh. basketball, and football. He's number six. He's a wide receiver. We just saw him come off the field for the first play. Yeah, I remember what, calling some basketball games last season. Yeah. He was insane. He can get up in basketball and a great wide receiver. He can also play quarterback and running back. He's a great football player as well. He has offers. Here's a snap. There's McLeod. He's all – Sacred Heart D is all over. Kavanaugh Williams, the junior. The man can eat. He had a punt block last week versus Aragon when they won 62-7. to Kavanaugh Williams, the junior. Outstanding play and great start for the Gators. See, that's one yeah. thing that I give the – the advantage to the Gators, they're coming in hot. They obviously scoring 62 last week, and their record four games above 500. Much better than the 3-3 three and three MA Bears. However, MA went to Utah, played full swim. They had a crazy hard strength. Here's schedule. McLeod. He's going to give a toss there, and he's tackled by around the 20. Looks like Everett Banks tackled him. Everett yesterday posted on Instagram a picture where he tagged the MA12th man, meaning the student body, and he said, we're ready, and had a little beef through Instagram showing that they're ready, and they're not scared to take down this big MA team. Third and long coming up. I think that Anderson Franklin back on the field. Matched up left of McLeod. And here's McLeod, takes a snap, and once again, Sacred Heart's all over them, and it's dropped. Wow. wow. Kavanaugh Williams came in hot there. Two great plays on this first drive, and an amazing first drive for the Gators, and kind of put in a statement that this team doesn't mess around. They're not the same team as last year. They have yeah. a chance here. I think MA needs to kind of feel their, feel their feet on the ground here. They have to get used to what's going on here. MA in the gray jerseys, red and white piping down the side, and Sacred Heart in the white red stripes on the pants, no names on the back for either squad. Here we go, punts, here we go. Bad snap. Oh man, Squid. I think someone got a piece of that punt. Dante Cachon's gonna charge at this ball, but he will not go for it. The punter there for the Bears is Trevion Norton. And they're gonna start at their own 49. Oh, now. Let's see what the offense could do. They have good field position on their first drive. The defense just shut down M.A., and M.A. is quite shocked right now. Quarterback so. for the Gators is Teddy Purcell, the junior. First time playing M.A. on the varsity level for him. Sure, he's a little nervous as this crazy student. Yeah, and, and let's see how these nerves come in. This is probably the loudest place he's played in his first six game, don't you think? Oh, yeah. And this is where we see how he deals with the adversity and the crowd noise. Here's Brissett, takes a snap, hands it off there. Tafu Mahoney on the handoff. Tafu hand Mahoney there, and he's gonna be brought back down. I do not know where they're gonna place that football. Got into enemy territory. It looks like he will have... Two yards. Yeah, he'll get two yards there. It's gonna be a second and eight, second and seven, my bad. It's a pretty good game. I think they gave him a generous spot because it didn't look that good. Yeah, he got quite pushed back Sec quite a bit there. Second and a long eight. Wilson Weisel. Oh, there's, a jump, the off there's a jump right there by Sam Maxwell, who I know pretty well. He was in my band class at the start of the year, and I'm pretty good friends with his two, his t little twin brothers. I'll heckle some Max about that later today. And, of course, the ruthless MA Bears fans immediately start, but you can't do that chant. Starting flyback for the Gators is Wilson Weisel. He, he uh, is the backup. Brian Gavello broke his collarbone, so he's the backup starting today as he comes in motion. There he is. Oh, a nice spin move there, and he's going to push ahead. Bounced off a hit in the backfield, and, back, and they're going to go back to pretty much where they were two downs ago. Yeah. Yeah, the Gators run an interesting offense. They only run one wide receiver, and then they run a flyback that comes in motion. So it's a, and then two, a running back and a fullback. So it's a heavily run uh, offense, different than M.A. who runs three wide receivers. Yeah. Or four, actually. I mean, you're the expert on um, 
Sacred Heart, do you think their wide receivers are just not good enough, or they just nah. that's just the way it works? It's just the way they right. they play. We their know game. how good Ma's wide receivers are. There's a pass to number 25. Tavito Morma gets the first. First them. Tavito Morma, he'll get the first down there. Big nice for play. Great confidence booster for Sacred Heart. Stands get it. Quiet the Ma fans a little bit. Nice job right there. By the yeah, Gators. big Save. big for his down. That was Tavito Morma, star player of Sacred Heart. And, and I think this is. I think. But these, it's been the first four minutes, but I think the neck, I think the first quarter's really going to define this game. How they deal with the crowd noise, try to shut this place up. There's another give off, and it looks like it will be about place, I think, four, three yards there. Three yards, second and seven coming up. This MA section is just packed, wow. Every single person, or every single stand is just full Yeah. bleachers. Respect to the MA student body for showing up tonight. Sacred Heart came out too. Yeah, well, not as much of course, yard. but. They only gave him one yard on that run, surprisingly. So they came back from the generous placement to give them a bit not as nice one there. And that was a good run there. Gonna set up a third and short. I do not think he got the first down. Definitely did not get the first down, didn't have enough there. Now this is the big part, MA needs to stop here. They can't let the student section get silent. Sacred Heart does have a great kicker, so they are in field goal range. It is long, but they are in. Defense chance coming on here by the parents, actually. I don't know if the students are joining in. Third and three. And this is what MA does. They even have the parents Here we go. getting this place loud. Wilson oh, Weisel nice on the fly, and he'll get it. It looks like they do Ooh, get maybe the not. first down. Uh, no, they call what? him short. The ref and calls him short. What do you see here? This is a pretty long field goal for a high school kicker. Do you see them going for it? Definitely they'll go for it, no I, doubt in my mind. I mean, I don't see how they can't make this. It's a if they plunge point. it with Tevita Moimoy, they're going to get the first down. They got some good blockers, too. They gotta get smart play here. If they go for the pass, there's always that definite like conclusion that something bad can happen on the pass. And you drop turnover on downs. So yeah, I definitely agree with you. I think Mormon is just gonna run it right through. Beck Anderson checking in the flyback. Oh, oh no! He was stopped. An incredible play by MA defense. And just like that, it's gonna be a turnover on downs. It looks like they busted through that line of scrimmage right there. Vatuve with a great play takes him down. And wow, that'll be a turnover on downs. And great play. that's pretty shocking there. Great play by the Bears defense. Absolutely. And that gives them some momentum. Maybe they can do something now on offense. Yeah. And it looks to still be McLeod in. Yeah, I mean, I feel like at this point, they, they have to air the ball out a little bit. Only threw it once on the last play. And and McLeod's obviously the better throwing quarterback mm -hmm. as they have Price in for a more like a run pass option. Here. Oh, nice run there. They run the ball and they get the first. Nice job right there by the, the Bears to plunge it. It's really tough to tackle a guy that fast. Just yeah. Same same man there for the Bears running it. Looks yeah. to be number twenty. Now uh, that's that's uh, Clifton. He's listed as a fullback. He's a senior. He he was one of the captains of this team. Sorry, number thirty two. Number thirty two is Clifton. Oh, Thomas Tafu. He's the star senior. Running back for the Bears. Tafu. Lined up next to McLeod again. They send a man in motion. McLeod, he's gonna hand that off, and they're gonna bust through. Tries to look. Tafoy again. He's gonna be short. A third and short coming up. JP Frimmel on the stop right there for the Gators. One of the four captains. But nice job by Tafu once again, busting it down the middle. Actually, Almost got it. I think it's not smart. Who thinks run the ball here? Um, third and two. You've already seen Tafoy doing great. I think you gotta keep him in. Yeah, Gators should bring a blitz here. They are, and it looks like no. Wow. What a stop right there, ladies and gentlemen, by Ben Ramsey. Committed to Notre Dame for lacrosse a week ago, or a couple days ago, actually. Great stop by him. And that may force a punt. No. 
as McLeod wants his wants to stay on the field and he will. This aggressive play of um, MA, we know it and we love it. And here we go. Looks like Sacred Heart student section is starting to chant. See how MA student section responds. They're going for it. Here we go, McLeod in the backfield. Oh, oh. And it looks like they jumped and it'll be a penalty. False start on Sacred Heart. Tafu. And that is what is going to kill them this game. Yeah, Tafu jumps, you cannot do that. That's really tough for the Gators because the Bears now have a first down. My yeah, bad, not a false start offsides. As Coach Ravapati of the Rams, uh, not the Rams, the Bears will love that. He's the fourth year head coach and we've seen him here for a long time. Uh, Casey doesn't love him, of course, as he's the opposition coach, but he's a great coach, has led this team to a lot of state championships. McLeod, oh, he almost fell there. McLeod, he's under pressure, throws, and it's out of bounds. Matt McLeod, good job throwing it away and not yeah. taking a sack. That was a great play to just throw it away because he was, he was about to get hit for a loss of 4-5. But wow, this defense showed up today, and they are putting good pressure here. Yeah, the Sacred Heart defense, other than that one penalty, or two penalties at this point, one costly one, have been doing great, especially on that third and down and long last drive. Here. Second and 10, and they hand it off. There, that was number 32. I think he was tackled by John Carter, Jr., who's the head of the radio at Sacred Heart. Tafui there. Third yeah, and you, th this defense has been great, but I just want to, I just want to shout out there, uh, um, Anderson, who's the DB, because they have not passed the ball to that side of the field once. That's just showing respect how good defensively they are. Yeah, Beck Anderson, and great pressure right there once again by John Carter. So Fourth down and eight coming up. And they can't go for this. this is I mean, I, I think they should. It's the 50-yard line. I think they should go for it. McLeod's still on the field. Anderson comes out, looks like they're gonna go for it. Anderson's in. Ooh, Sacred Heart has a mascot, a little gator. Never seen that before, even at the home games. They brought it out for today, though. Here we go, Franklin and Anderson, most likely gonna be a target here from McLeod. A fourth and eight, yeah, you're probably gonna be throwing the ball. This would be showing a lot of faith in Tafui. Here we go, McLeod. Looks, this defense is all over him. McLeod still looks, he throws, and it's caught by Franklin. Did he get the first? I believe he did. Yes, he did. I saw I saw a block in the back, in the backfield by the- And the flag is down. The flags are pink for breast cancer awareness, which is awesome, so it looks to be a flag. That's holding that's, on the offense. That's tough, because that was a great job by Matt McLeod. And it doesn't look to be a holding, it looks to be it was still on MA though. It was a legal block in the yeah. back, as you saw. So that is a tough. Yeah. But I mean, at that point, like, now do you it, go for it? Now they got a punt. Yeah, yeah, and they will. It would have been a sack if if they if if without that block. So, yes, you don't get it, but you can't be too angry. Yeah, that was a solid job in McLeod scrambling. It's a shame that it was a block in the back. Good for Sacred Heart on the block though, because they did a good job putting pressure on him there. But Troy Franklin's so good, it's hard to not to guard him. Returning for the Gators, Dante Cachon. There's the kick off. Good kick. Here. Very kick. good kick. Fair catch Fair ball. catch ball. Oh, Cachon dropped, dropped it. it. It's out. I think the Gators have it. Oh, man. That was they do. almost a big mistake there. Wow, Cachon. Cachon <laughs> dropped the ball. Usually the very sure-handed return man. Not that time, but he was bailed out by his team recovering that one. So, Gators will take the ball for the second time. Last time, they had the ball in fourth and one, but they got stuffed. See what they can do now. Here we go. See how Brisset covers the nerves on his second drive. Here he goes. Took the snap, and now there's a run play. Oh, a nice, almost got through there. And he's taken down there by number 54. For all our viewers, notice how quickly after the huddle, the Sacred Heart Prep Gators run to the ball. That is one thing that Coach Grieb stresses a lot in practice. He wants the team to be very quick to the ball. So once they're in the huddle, they will sprint onto the ball. And that's just a very undisciplined thing to do. And 
it just really shows, as you see here, they're all going to sprint to the ball. As Price is warming up on the sideline, maybe you'll see him come in on the next drive. McLeod has not done much. Wilson Wise will the handoff. That goes nowhere, third down coming. Flag comes down. That's a late flag, what do you think that is? Looks like it could be a hold on. Were exchanged. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it was a pretty late flag for it to just be holding. Yeah. Maybe at the very end of a play holding. Yep, holding on Sacred Heart. I think it's on number 56, Nick Stalder, because he had some words exchanged with the referees. Two minutes, 27 seconds left in the first quarter. It'll be a second and long for the Gators. Second and 13 to go. Two minutes, 20 seconds left in the first. Here it looks like they're gonna run the ball up the middle and again and, and I And I just don't agree with that play call. Even though you have a great running back star player, I feel like you, on on second and 13, you have to take a chance. Yeah, Coach Grebe is very conservative, a lot like David Shaw, the coach of Stanford just down the road. He will run the ball, and sometimes where you're like, why, why wouldn't you throw it there? Except so last night when they had a third string quarterback and all they did was throw the ball. Yes. How do you feel about Coach Shaw? He was at, our, he was at the JV game as his son's on second half. Did you see him? I did not see him. Third and 10 here. Expect the throw as they're in double personnel, meaning. Here, for set. In the backfield, he's gonna take it. All Here. goes. Takes the throw Ooh. and it was dropped. No one was open. Great job by Emma on their secondary to cover everyone. And now the momentum is kind of of no team. Everyone's just kind of chilling right now. So a punt team will come on, Ronan Donnelly. And returning is number six, Justin Anderson for the Bears. And it, an I just want to talk more about Anderson Casey. We've done a lot of the Bears basketball games. He's, and we did a Bears baseball game. He's on all three of those teams. He's a great tri sport athlete. Yeah, he He's is. Incredible. Very good athlete. As the kick here. Not a great kick there. And it'll get a good MA bounce, and it hit one of the. That's going to be put down at the 47. So, pretty good field position here for MA. Let's see what they can do. And it looks like. It'll be, it's still McLeod. Yeah, McLeod is gonna come in and he- No, it, my bad, it's Price. M M Price M yeah. McLeod went on the field and then he came off. Maybe that was a bit of trickery, see what defensive personnel Sacred Heart would put out. Here we go, Price. Yeah, RP3 coming in for his first snap ever since for, against the Gators, his old the team. Former Gator. And trust me, this student section is gonna heckle him. They're Peter mad that Price. he left. Here we go. Oh, a big run. Here comes Tafui. Tafui, another move. He's going to keep going. And he's finally tackled. And it's at the 10 yard line. What a run. That's Pushed out of bounds inside the five. What a play by Tafui. That's the momentum changing run that Menlo Azichin really needed there. And that will get their fans fired up and their players fired up. Incredible. One minute, 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Here we go, Price in the backfield with Tafui. He'll, Price will run it in. Here comes Price, tries to break a tackle and he gets stuffed. And you can hear Sacred Heart is loving that. <laughs> 53 seconds to go. McLeod comes in. Price's stint was short. Fifty-three seconds left in the first. MA now in the red zone. Still not much from the passing attack, all running. We've seen that from both teams. Just just not a lot of passing. A lot of the ground game in this third quarter, but if this game stays close, we're gonna see the quarterbacks use their arms a little more in the second half. And now they're gonna give that to the fast young running back as he'll run into the end zone touch. No, no one yard line. One yard line there. That was, I think, number five there. 
So third. Sanchez, the running back, the senior, he's 5'8". The third in goal now. Yeah, Sanchez there with a nice run. Now Sanchez and Tafui in the backfield. McLeod is going to take second the Second and three, here. this is where you want to pound one. it in. Here's McLeod. McLeod. Comes back in. Third Here. down, my bad. McLeod takes a snap. Gives to Tafui, and it's a touchdown. Touchdown. Good start for MM. There they go. They plunge it in. All on the run game. Completely Student running. section loving it. So, Sacred Heart's turn now to come back on. And I said Sacred Heart got a th has to throw the ball a bit more now. It looks like we have an injured MA player. Oh, man. Yeah, he looks to be in a lot of pain, holding his knee down the right, right on the goal line. During our JV game today, we had two big injuries, both for MA. One, one player they had to call 911 in the fire department. He had to get stretchered off. So MA players going through some injuries today. Hopefully they're all okay. Well, definitely hope that MA, MA player will be all right here. But Tafui running into the end zone for the first touchdown of this game. How do you think about this? these running backs so far, Tafui and Sanchez? Tafui's been great, actually. He's, been, he's getting a lot of carries early. We just need to wait till they throw the ball with McLeod, and that's where we're going to see what this, real, this team's really made of. And yeah. it's nice as we see the injured MA is coming off, walking on his own weight, so that is good. Kicker for um, the Menlo Atherton Bears is Lucas Giarusso. And Giarusso here to take the kick to make this a 7 nothing game. Here, and it Flags looks like all over the play. Might be a false start. And if this is a false start, no, if, if this is, if, if this is on Sacred Heart, go for the do two. you see them going for two from at what would be the one yard line, right? Yeah, it's moving it from the two to the one. I guess it wasn't a penalty. It was just, I don't know, the whistle or something? Well, if it was on the one, definitely run it in with Tafui or Sanchez. But here it really is, and that is good. No, no good. Wide no left. good it is wide. Wow. Pulled it wide left. Look at all the Sacred Heart student sections taunting Lucas as he likes to taunt Sacred Heart on Instagram. 12.6 seconds left in the first quarter. Now for Sacred Heart, I think what they should do is start throwing the ball a bit more. Yeah, 12.6 seconds to go. So the kickoff, they'll probably only run one play after that for the Sacred Heart offense and they'll continue this drive into the second quarter. And the here we go. Once again, it looks like we will see, can't see McLeod yet. Can't tell if McLeod or Price is out there. As Sacred Heart to Ellie. receive the kick, they have a couple men deep. Ellie. Oh, my bad. Yes, they're kicking off. Returning the kick for Sacred Heart, Everett Banks, number eight, and number two, Dante Kishon, kicking off Lucas Giarusso once again. Giarusso looking for a better kick this time as he missed the extra point. Wide left. As the MA band getting into it on the kickoff, we're gonna see a return. Oh, going after him. And he's gonna be brought down before the 20. He made a man miss, but still pinned deep into their own territory. This is where we're really gonna see what Sacred Heart can do. Yep. And here comes MA defense. This is his real time to show what it's all about. They can come up with a big stop here. That's gonna give pretty good field position to MA. And we saw what happened last drive. As the injured player for MA up off the surgeon's table and he's running down the sideline, he looks to be okay. 
5.5 seconds left in the first. They hand it off to Beck Anderson. There's Nothing Anderson. much. Doesn't look like he got any. And that. that's going to do it for the first quarter. Bears lead 6 nothing on a missed PAT. For Sacred Heart, I think they should stay positive. Better than last year for sure, as they were down big after the first quarter. So they have a chance, I think. That's what they should be saying. Yeah. Their offense. Yeah, 6 nothing is nothing, especially with their offense. That's um, I, I mean, I, yeah. We've been saying it all night, but I really think they just need to start throwing the football. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what Brissett's arm is all about here. He, yeah, I agree with you guys. Definitely throw the football. I think this has been definitely a running the ball game, as we've seen a lot of that. As the big run coming from Tafui, the 50-yard run, I think, something like that. And it then turning into Anderson with two runs, and then finally Tafui running into the end zone off of three. So the run game for MMA has been very good so far. This, this of course, uh, league game, Men, MA 1-0 in it, in league, Sacred Heart Prep 2-0 in league. Yeah, Sacred Heart started their league off. Two blowouts to Terranova and Aragon. MA just played one game, and that was to Terranova last week. But uh, as you, can you tell us more about the game in Utah? Yeah, or what, what happened with that? And they just, since they won a national champ, or the state championship last year, they had some crazy hard knock conference games and went all the way to Utah. They lost that game. They played Folsom. So they had, they had some tough games in non-conference, but they lost all the tough games. The only one they won was against Bellarmine and Arroyo Grande. So they, throw the ball there. they lost all their tough games. They throw the ball there, but it was off. Not a great throw from Brissett, so... Second and ten. Yeah, here we go. Back Anderson and Dante Cachon, the receivers right now. Third and nine. The MA defense is tough to get by as Tavita also goes in the backfield. And they're throwing again. A big hit it administered on two. Grimmel, the tight end and linebacker. He took a big hit there. He held on to the ball, though. That's all that really matters. Purcell's been lined up under center a lot. When do we think we're, we're going to see him in the shotgun? Um, I think you only see Purcell in the shotgun rarely on a couple of plays. That's just not how they run their offense. And I think, I don't know, I think they're just very picky on how they run it. And, and it works it half off. the time. So MA's gonna get another, some more good field position. And, and that takes a nice wow. gator bounce. All the way back to the 30. And that's a great bounce. And that will basically take the good field position off. And now they're gonna have to start from a similar place, just 10 yards forward from where Sacred Heart started last drive. I think the Gators' defense is gonna, what's going to have to step up. They're going to have to keep it close because the offense is going to be tough with this Gator, with this Bear defense. It's really hard to keep. Neither to go, but so. Price is on. Price is on the field at quarterback. Let's see how he's greeted by the uh, by the far side, the fans for prep. Yeah. Looks like they're going to give that one to and Sanchez. My bad. And he doesn't look like he got anything there. Gain of We we have not yards. seen Price throw the ball and we've only seen it from McLeod a couple times. We're gonna get Ooh. another running affair like last game where it was Chargers only running the ball there. And then we had Overfelt the game before and they love to run the ball too. Price lined up in the shotgun. Let's see if they'll let him throw here. Nope. They don't. I mean, I don't blame them. The run against been working. Two feet brought down. It's going to be third down and short. I assume they'll run it again. So if I was the Gators, I'd bring a, a pretty big blitz here to try to slow him down. The thing about Tavali, when he runs, he's just so fast and just so big. It's super hard to stop. Yeah, he's a, he's a great player. He's a great player for this team. 
It looks like they're going to give another run. That's to Fui, and he'll be brought down. I think I believe he got it. Yeah, first down. That's nice there. They get a few run plays in for the first down. A dicey spot there. I don't think he got it. They had the sub to Fui out, obviously, because to catch a breather, three handoffs in a row, so have to do some, maybe see a pass here. But they also have Sanchez, another great runner. He got the touchdown. Yeah. No, Tafui did get the touchdown. And still in is Raymond Price, the third, RP3. If he throws a pick, the Sacred Heart student section will go nuts. Here's Price in the backfield. Sanchez next to him. Blitz coming. Gives to Sanchez. He runs into his own man, and he gets absolutely stuffed there. That's what happens when you change the rhythm up. They had the rhythm with Tafui, then they took a while to snap the next play. They subbed in a new running back. So now they're maybe have to throw it now because that was a loss. Great job by the Gators, too. Definitely have to throw the ball here. But the Gators' defense has been great. Like, yeah, they gave up six, but that's just because they gave up that one good run. But on the other three possessions MA's had, they've been busting them up for a loss most of the plays. Bringing pressure. And we'll see a throw there to Franklin. Franklin, a stiff arm to the head. Ooh, that's going to be a face. face mask, too. Ever Banks is mad about that, and he's the one that. And a number 10 on the bench said something, but no flag, surprisingly. Wow, I, 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 I definitely saw a face mask. That was right in front of us. Yeah, great shot from the camera there. Could see all the way. Easy face mask call, missed by the refs there. And number 10 must have said something, because the, the whole team held him back. Yeah. He was on the bench. Shock! there's no penalties on that play. Here we go, Price. He's going to throw again. Oh, like drop for a loss. Benjamin Ramsey. What a play and what a game he's had so Man, far. Sacred Heart is really bringing the heat over there. Their student section has started. Eight minutes, 16 seconds left in the second quarter. Six-nothing game for the Bears. The I mean, Sacred Heart Gators have a really good linebacker court, and they just hit. You don't want to test them on that play. But they did get a yard gain on that play. And good job by MA to, uh, MA's um, the person that made that catch to hold on to the ball and not drop it after that big of a hit. Now, well, now we know for a fact they're going to have to throw the ball here. On the second and ninth, so we've seen Tafui go for some big plays. I don't know, maybe you give it to him here. He's lined up right next to Price. Seven minutes, 57 seconds till halftime. Here we go. Price. And a fake handoff. He's going to throw it over. A it's Anderson. Throw. Who Anderson, else? Anderson, and he's going to run out of bounds. Pushing him out First of bounds. First down. Everett Banks. And he was, Raymond Price was hit while he threw that, but he still got the ball off and was able to throw it to Troy Frank, or Justin Anderson. Showing off his athleticism. Price just flipped that right. And here we go. Now there's another pass across. It's number 11 who's knocked down there. And there's been a lot of screen passing from uh, the Bears. That's that's most of the offense they've gone uh, along with the run game. That was yeah. Carson. Price, Price really hasn't thrown the ball past the line of scrimmage a lot tonight. That they run the same offense as the JV team, and we, we practice that all week. The uh, screen passes, which they do when in the trips, it's really effective. It snapped Price over to Sanchez. Sanchez tries to get as much extra yardage as he can. And he's taken down there. And it looks like it will be a third down coming up. Now maybe see the run game here. Depends how short it is, but. Third and three. So we got Sanchez in the backfield. See with the drop. Gator's bringing a blitz. Oh, he's going to run it himself. Here comes Price, but no. He's going to get taken down. I don't know if he got it. I believe he was short. Yeah, he was definitely short there. And so the student section likes that question for is, the Sacred Heart. They are happy about that as their, as we said, their quarterback, ex-quarterback, just got dropped there. Now do they go for it or do they? I think they go for it. No, you, you have to go for it because fourth and one and he just got two yards. Yeah, especially because a, a punt doesn't do much at this point. Like, it would, they're on the 27. It's a very long field goal. I think you just need to pound it, especially when you have Tafui in the backfield. Definitely. And they don't have Tafui right now. They have Sanchez in the oh, whistle wow. down. If there's a false start there, that is the worst thing Menlo afternoon. No, it looks to be a, a timeout on the Bears before the play. 
Yeah, there's definitely no flag there. Just under six minutes to play in a six nothing game. This has been the first half we all wanted. It's been close and it has been quick. The clock's been running for most of the first half. And yeah. I mean, where is the Gators offense, Casey? I mean, I think it has to do a lot with running. And if the, if the defense that they're playing can stop the run, then the Gators offense is slim because their offense creates throws and it's just a very, it's a play action. They, they play a lot like the Niners. If the Niners run doesn't work, they don't work. They're a lot worse than the Niners, but the, the same scheme, I guess. The thing is, Emma is doing a great job stopping him. But this four than one right here, this could be a huge play in the game. If the Gators got to stop here. Some momentum could be huge for their offense. Big momentum shift right here. If they pick it up, they are easily in field goal range. If not, Gators have the ball with the chance to take the lead. And do we think this mixed ex missed extra point could come back to haunt them? Especially if they get stopped here. Definitely, but here we go. Fourth and one. Let's see what we have. If Price with Sanchez in the back backfield do not know what happened to Tafui. He's with someone over there. I don't know if he's someone. Sanchez, he's going to get through. Sanchez. Fumble. Fumble the ball. Recovered by Kavanaugh Williams. The Gators get the ball. Incredible. Huge. Exactly what the Gators needed. And they are hyped up. And that's the momentum that we were talking about. They got the first but they just couldn't hold on to the ball. And there's there. the student section for uh, Sacred Heart is loves that. Man, Sanchez, good run, but didn't end well. <laughs> Tafui on the sidelines, do not know what's going on with him. It's and first and down. Purcell. They need to respond. Brussel's going to hand that off, and like they're still just going with the run game, and it has not been great for them. I think they need to, at some point, start throwing the ball, and it needs to be soon. Yeah. Second down now. That was a good run. Got eight yards on it. However, looked like eight yards. The scoreboard says differently, but. Second and eight, Guess Purcell not. hands it off to 25 there. And that's when the run does work. Moves the chains, gets two quick runs, moves the chains, first down Gators, just pounds the rock. So that or Tavita Moy Moy, number 25 on the carry. Star player for the Gators. Yeah, it's been a very good stand. This, this is their possession to try to tie it up. Uh, Sacred Heart gets the ball Back to start to the Vito. second half. To Vito Mormon. And if you get to Vito on a roll, it's tough to stop him. Yeah, to Vito Mormon there. This is when the Gators offense starts to work. However, maybe bring a little play action now. And it looks like did they get the first down. Second and two. I believe so the Gators are going to hand it off again. They're going to do a pitch here on down Definitely. to try to throw the MA off. Yep, on down they run it, they do a pitch, they do a flipper to TV, oh, that no. doesn't quite work now. And is there. this when you throw the ball? On a third and three, or do you just go right back up the middle, which I think they should have done there. Well, obviously the run didn't work there. MA's expecting a run, go for a pass, I think. The Gators are gonna hand it off here, it looks like. As I'm actually reading the Gators signs on the sideline, I, I know him from JV, so they're handing it off here. As they hand it off, see what they get. Fourth down coming. Hey, it's nice. We got someone. Who I'm gonna can say steal right the now signs. they're gonna go for it. Fourth and one down six, they're gonna go for it. Hey, we're the play predictor predictors. They over gave it here to him. First down. Wow. A very a very lucky spot for the Gators. I do not think he got it. All right, First down. Let's not seal the signs anymore. And uh, what the Gators actually do is they have three injured people that do the signs and only one of them is the right person i won't say which one's the right person to try to trick the other team and say you tell yeah. all their secrets now brissell and it's oh come on that's pass interference wow a huge hit there and it was anderson and obviously sacred heart not happy with that one i'm confused how that's not pass interference i think there's been many missed calls the refs are holding on to their flags unlike the nfl 
who are doing the exact opposite. But come on, there have been some obvious penalties that have not been called. Yeah. Marcel, the, Marcel take the snap, and it looks like they're going to hand that off there. And it doesn't look like they'll get much yardage. It's going to be a third down coming up. Third down, and probably around seven or so as he picked up about three yards there. Third and ten. Third yeah. and ten, wow. And this is where we're going to see them throw the ball again. No, it, it's third and nine. He did pick up at least a yard. So it is third and nine. They have to throw the ball here. They have no other options at this point in the game. They should throw the ball, see what yeah, they do here. Yeah, but it doesn't look like Brissell, and they're not. Brissell they going to go way behind. They run pop pass. He throws. Got it. Nice just throw. Nice play. Textbook play right there. Running pop pass, which is Gators' killer play, and what they like to run. after the first hit uh -oh. that you thought was a penalty. And what is it looking like? Coming back. Wow. Wow. Whoa, what's going on? What's the call? Holding. Holding on the offense, and that's killer. And it will be fourth down and long. Oh, third, third down and long because, oh, third down, because yes, of the penalty they read you third down. And he, here do you think they're just going to play conservative, make it a shorter punt, or air it out on third and 15? Air, air it out. Come on. They got to air it third out. Third and 20. You're down six right before the half. You do get the ball at half, but you would love to at least tie it or take the lead if you make the extra point and get at least some points, even a field goal. Get Look how much space the two receivers on the right have as the safety's on. here we go. Teddy All over Purcell. Purcell. Purcell, he's going to run. Purcell is going to be taken down. And that is going to lead to about a fourth and 15, which doesn't look like it's not worth. With two minutes left, it's not worth it. Two minutes, 12 seconds. And... I think they're going to kick it just because they get the ball to start the second half. If, if they come up with any kind of a stop here, then they have the ball. You look at... You saw there as he tried to scramble. Just knocked out of bounds. It'll be a fourth and 18. So he didn't even get as much many yards as I thought. And it will be a punt coming up. Solid punt. Well, great punt. And it will bounce, take a bounce in the air, and a good That's play there. On 27, Bears. Bears have two minutes, four seconds to go. They can do 63 it. yards. The defense for the Gators have been pretty solid so far. See if they can continue it like this. A pick six or a scoop and score, something like that would be so big for the Gators because then Once they would again. be winning if they make the PAT. Yeah, and, and, and the defense has definitely paid better than the offense, even though we see the scoreboard Bears have points. Um, they got the fumble, as you said, and they have gotten, uh, they have been stuffing them at the line of scrimmage multiple times on big third downs. Here we go. It's going to be McLeod there. McLeod is a quick screen pass that is caught there. I think that was for, no, it was not Franklin. It was number 18. Under two minutes to play. Shout out to number eight on Sacred Heart, Everett Banks. He's done a great job covering a five-star recruit right now. That was Troy Moss. Franklin. That was Moss Oh, Jalen Moss, also a great player. Number seven. This, the MA Bears have such a good wide receiver for him. Yeah. McLeod. Now he looks. He's going to do the same throw. And it's Franklin. And here comes Franklin. He has speed. Franklin. He's going to go all the way for the touchdown. Justin Anderson, number six. Justin Anderson, my bad. Who else but Justin Anderson? The crowd loving it. He goes 60 yards down the sideline. Now see if they can make the PIT. Flag down. There is a flag. Most likely a personal foul on M.A. Because they don't like Sacred Heart. They probably talk some trash. Sorry about the call there. The MVP chance rained down on Justin Anderson. Sorry, missed there. That was, yeah, as you said, that was Justin Anderson. A great run there. One minute, 26 seconds left in the second quarter. I'm surprised they're not going for two here as... At, at this point in the game, you want to, um, 
At this point, you want to try to make it 14, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I would go for two if I was the coach of MA. Because this um, opens up for Sacred Heart. They can now, if they score a few touchdowns second half, they can now take the lead on PH, made PHs. Oh, MA is kick, switching their kicker to number 12, um, Thompson Wainer, who is a girl. And she made it. Great for her. 13-0. It's cool to see a girl in high school football because there's not many. Yeah. And it's good and, to see. and that's a great team, great thing that MA does. You don't see that in a lot of programs. Um, they have a couple of girls on varsity, as we see, and a couple on JV. Yeah. Obviously good enough there as she makes it. And it's going to be 13 nothing with 126. So now it looks like Sacred Heart's gonna have to make a pound down the field, and this is the part where we'll see them throw because they can't run the ball with a minute remaining. 13-0, one minute, 26 seconds left. Uh, Casey, yeah, you've seen this team a lot. What do you think, I mean, do you think they can drive the field in this amount of time? Um, it really depends on. Because uh, I'd say no based on what I've seen today because they have not been, throwing the ball and especially especially in this kind of game you need a touchdown here do you think they're going to play a conservative hope that they get a bust out run I think or are they going to take some shots I think they'll play conservative on the very first play and they'll see how that works and then kind of depend on the rest but yeah. they really just need the receivers to get open and th their O-line to give Teddy Purcell more time because right now he doesn't have much time to find his receivers That's big on the MA defense, who've been very good so far this game. And we're getting set for kickoff here after MA gets that run from Justin Anderson, a big catch and run, and there she goes. Short kick. Dante Cachon takes it. Cachon runs up, and he's gonna be stuffed immediately. Didn't take long as special teams for MA comes up big. One minute, 19 seconds left till halftime. See if Sacred Heart can get some points on the board. If not, they'll go into halftime down 13-0, which JV actually went into halftime down 13-0. Isn't too go. bad of a score. Now Brissell, they're gonna throw quickly, and it was a, doesn't look like it's gonna be waved off, no catch. No, no they gave him a catcher. No, it gave him a catcher for a pick of oh, six. Did. Got out of bounds, well, a nice play. Brissell, that was not a great throw. He has to get back on his game there. Not a great throw there, definitely not. Got four yards, second and six. JP Frimmel, as they have balanced four receivers in. Now Another short pass. Oh, that was. That's close. also pass interference. That's the third missed call we've seen. Good catch by JP Frimmel to tug that in. And it looks like so hard is throwing the ball. They have they have three timeouts too, and it looks like they'll use one here. I mean, yeah, as you said, the refs has got to call that. I mean, that is definitely pass interference. He grabbed him, tried to tackle him before he even made the catch. So a great play though to keep it in his arms and get that pickup of how many it did. But now it's third down and two. What do you run here if you're sick hard? Do you throw the ball even though it's, because you only have a minute or do you or do you run the ball because it's third and two? As the ref goes and tells the scoreboard operator to change the scoreboard from 103 to 106 seconds left in the game. Yeah. Yeah, so there's only one minute and they have to get down the field. It doesn't look like we've seen much out of Brissell's arm here. See if he can air something out soon. Third down and two. There we go. See if they run it. I could see them running it too and then quickly going for the pass game if they get the first down. They need to hurry if they're gonna run that ball. Here we 
we go. Purcell, and that one's going to try to get it, and did they he do. get it? Yes. Looks like they did top of Honey, and they'll move the chains. I like the call. And the time stops when it's a first down, and once the ref plays it, time resumes. So pretty good call, I think, and now you can go back to the pass game. And with the clock running, they're going to set up quickly. Here's Grissel, who's going to do a quick pass, a nice fadeaway. That will be caught. Great job getting out of, out of bounds. Definitely that play was meant for them to get out of bounds. Saves the clock here with 49.8 seconds left. So crunch time here, bears up 13 zip. Yeah, second and six, 49.8 seconds left in the half. Sacred Heart really needs some points here. And they have a good kicker, so if, if they just get in field goal range, they can make it 13-3 at halftime. Sell, he throws it, it's caught. Oh, big another hit. big hit. But they got the first down. Great job by J.P. Fremont to hold on to it, but a great hit as well by Menlo Atherton Bears. But they got the first down. No need to celebrate so much. I don't understand why number 10 is celebrating. Yeah, 42.5. Yeah. They can easily get a touchdown here. 40 seconds left. Time running. Here, Rissell is going to give that to Moore. To be to more and more. See it? And timeout called by the Gators. Good job calling timeout. 40 seconds left. Second down and about four. And they fixed the clock. 30 seconds left. So. 30.7, exactly. Yeah. Maybe some quick out routes. Something like that. So uh, it, Sacred Heart only has like, one time out left. Too. Yeah. yeah. So I'd say I say you're on like two quick like out slants like as you said like like like, like maybe you do like a double out slant just get out of mount and at this point at least take a field goal. Yeah. Points is better than no points. At this situation, of course you want to come away with a touchdown, right? Make it a one possession game. And but they get the ball at half too. Yeah. Uh, if, they, if they get a touchdown, they're right back in this game. But even if they get a field goal and then score to start the second half, then 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 they tie with a field goal because of that missed uh, extra point. So I feel like any kind of point, you go into halftime with a great outlook if you're a prep fan. Yeah. I think they've done a good job throwing the ball this um, drive. They finally got into a little rhythm and see if it will carry into the second half. 30 seconds left, second and three for the Gators. One timeout left as the wave goes in the Sacred Heart student section. Ball is placed at the 52, 40, what? Ball is placed at the 41, actually. The huddle, 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage. And as you see, said Casey, they sprint to the ball after the huddle. Even when time's not even running. Right now it's a 58-yard field goal. You want to get into a 35-yard, so you need about 23 Here, yards. Purcell, he thought about throwing. He didn't throw. He's going to throw a little far. And oh. it's almost intercepted there. That was Franklin playing. Two leader. drops on that play. Yeah, almost caught and then almost intercepted. That would have been huge if I mean, that was caught. And then even bigger that. if it was intercepted. Here's the replay as he moves out. He's going to huck that downfield, and it's almost intercepted. Right through the hands. Oh, man. It was a little bit overthrown by the quarterback yeah. for a second part. I mean, that's dangerous. I mean, if he doesn't get a hand on that, Franklin's got an easy catch. Here's Marcel, scrambles out. He's going to run. He, he avoids a couple hits, and now you oh. have to call your last time out. Yeah. And they will, looks like, 13 seconds left. Or I not. I mean, now, now you just now you have to throw the ball, right? Now you throw a couple hand Larrys, no? Well, yeah. What they did is they stopped the clock because they got the first down. So yeah, then it doesn't really matter if it gets intercepted at this point, unless it's a pick six, which is not likely, as it's all the way going to be going all the way down the field. If they get a quick first down, and then they can use their timeout and kick the field goal, maybe. Well, it's still a long field goal for high school. 19 seconds left. Here we go. And time runs back on, and, and they spike it. Spike it. Good call because it was first down. And they still have a timeout. And the quarterback for Sacred Heart is complaining about the scoreboard. The scoreboard operator is next to us. Yeah, I think there's a problem with the time on the clock. 
18. 18 is going to be put on the clock. Uh, that's what the quarterback wanted for Sacred Heart, and he's going to get it. All right, here we go. Brissell in the backfield. Getting ready to take this. We're still not, it looks like, yeah, he will not be in the shotgun yet. They, they still have one timeout. And now he's going to look back. Defense all over him. You got to throw that ball away. You got to throw on? it away. Took a hit, and he's down, and he's sacked. And that's going to do it for the first half, I think. No, nope, use their time. time of seven seconds, and now it's a Hail Mary. You that got to throw that ball oh. away. I don't know what Purcell was doing in that situation. I think the nerves are getting them right there. He trying to, to make trying to make something out of nothing there. Rough, rough play. Seven seconds, so. So now it's third down, and they're out of timeout. So basically they just have one Hail Mary chance. Unless they can get a very quick um, fit 20 yards, it's still a pretty long field goal. So might as well just try a Hail Mary right now. Or actually, would you try a very quick out route and then a Hail Mary, or would you just go for it right now? I, I, think, I think you just have to take the shot, right? Because seven seconds... Here's this replay again as it goes right through his hands. That's pivotal. I mean, if he catch, catches that ball, I mean, look at what they're, they're probably getting it. They're probably going to get it a touchdown or at least a field goal. So, and here. Okay, so so seven seconds. I feel like maybe you try an outlet, but you, you just have to have Purcell throw it away with three seconds to go. And he has, he has not seemed very cool and calm and he. And I, I don't Finally think. Finally in the shotgun is Brissell. Brissell's going to look, and the blitz is all oh. over. The blitz is going to take him down. So do that it. will end the half. That will end the half. A great half of play as the Bears are up 13 to nothing against the Sacred Heart Gators. Good first half, I would say, for both teams. Some good ups and downs. An electric atmosphere here in Menlo Atherton. And I think the Gators are lucky not to be losing by more. And the defense has done an all right job, but the offense needs to step up, step up in the second half. And for the Bears, I think they need to clean up a little bit of the offense on the passing game. Is that final thoughts from Casey Hornbeek as he will not be joining us for the second half of play? I'm Lev Miller alongside Kieran Costa and Casey Hornbeek. We will be back for the second half. Hello and welcome back to Coach Park Field here in Menlo Atherton, California. We are in for a barn burner of a second half here in MA 13, nothing the Bears lead and their crowd has been raucous during halftime. Sacred Heart Prep Gators get the ball to start the second half. Let's see if they can put a dent in that 13, nothing lead. Casey Hornbeek has left the broadcast. Filling in, we have Devin Mahaffey as I will be taking over the play-by-play -play duties from Lev Miller. Devin, what were your thoughts on the first half? Just watching the game from the sideline, obviously a really exciting game. We saw some pretty equal possession, but the MA Bears obviously dominated the game and it was really exciting up today. Yeah, thanks All right. Devin for that. Lev, what about you? Uh, so basically, Let's just say, call the flag. I mean, terrible call so far. We've seen a lot of missed calls, particularly as we've seen, I don't wanna say it, but yes, Sacred Heart has been on the bad side of most of those calls. So some reasons that MA is up 13 nothing is because of there's been a few missed pass interference calls that would have made a difference, but they were not called. And just like that, MA is up 13 to nothing. Yeah, we are in for a great second half. As I said, Sacred Heart will be getting the ball to start it. And they, they just need a score. Like, they cannot give the ball up to make it a three-possession game. Three-possession game where it gets a little out of reach. Two-possession, if they score here, then it's a one-possession game. Easy. But... If it gets to a three possession game, it will be a real struggle. 
Exactly. If the Bears can get a good start on the on the Gators here, they could really take it away. But it's been pretty equal so far. We can see what the Gators are going to have to bring out in the second half coming up soon. And it looks like we're just getting ready for kickoff here. This nice second half of action in football as so far, first half recap. We saw the first touchdown of the game scored a run by Sanchez into the end zone. Extra point was missed. And then another big catch there, Anderson, a big catch off of all the way down the sideline, about 60 yards. Um, extra point was made, and that's how we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Bears 13, Sacred Heart Prep, nothing. Yeah, Layla Thompson, Wainer, the new kicker. She'll be in to kick it away. A uh, fun note on her: she's she's a girl. Um, one of the only girls on the the, the only girl on the uh, MA football team, and one of the only girls in the league and the conference in all of high school football. Uh, she even joined the dance team at halftime yeah. web. <laughs> Tell us more about that. Uh, yeah, so dance usually goes at halftime, and she just hops up and joins them mid-dance crowd like that. <laughs> My bad. She will not be taking the kick as she is on the sideline. Uh, she did make the extra point she attempted earlier in the half, that made it from six nothing to 13 nothing. That was on the 60 yard Justin Anderson reception. And we are just about ready to go for the second half. Back to receive is coaching the wide receiver and DB. Along with Weissel. You've seen a lot of those two tonight. Here we go, kickoff, getting set, and we got a great second half of football coming up. As the hands have been raised and we are ready to go. And the kick is up and away. A shorter kick gonna be taken by Koshin at the 11. Puts a move right. Goes right into the pile, out towards the 24. And here they come, the defense of MA had a good start to this game. See if they can finish it off. Yeah, they, it's been a lot of the run game as they have been pounding the ball. But we have not, we have not seen a lot from Purcell. He's been a little underwhelming. I would have wanted way more from Purcell here in this big game. Agreed. The loudest crowd he's seen. Purcell throws behind the line of scrimmage, caught. Puts a move on and picks, picks up four down the side on Coach N. Quick little run. We've seen a lot of this type of game um, in this matchup tonight. Both the Gators and the Bears. They've just been doing quick little runs, but it's paid off. They've made it down the field a lot of the way, but sometimes just not able to finish off. Yeah, one of these teams will be handed their first in division loss, let's see who it will be. In the gun, Purcell gives it right, he finds a hole, Anderson picks up a first down. No, my bad, that was Moy Moy. Moy Moy right up the middle, picks up the first down. As we've seen a lot of Moy Moy tonight, Purcell to Moy Moy has been the biggest play yet. Third and five, big play. Fake Purcell back. Mark. Purcell. Throws has a man. Wide Caught. Open. Has a hole down the right sideline. 25 yards jumped out of bounds. And that's another low hit that's not called. I cannot believe the officiating in this game. Still incredible pass. Yeah, to Frommel. The yeah. big tight end. And now we see Sacred Heart, as Casey told us earlier in the game, they're going to be hyped. Casey, part of them going and the it looks like Sacred Heart has really shown up and given the heat here as rarely a away team has been louder than the actual MA home crowd itself. But I mean, I don't think it's true, but like 
they've been quite loud, and you usually don't see them be this loud. Yeah, very right true. As I think there was a, a penalty thrown at the end of the spot. That's going to move them first down at the it, – it will be first down inside the red zone. Now they need touchdown the here. 17. They can't afford a field goal. Yeah, I, I would not be surprised if, if a fourth down was upon them if they would go for it. Here we go. Looks like Purcell can get it. Hands Purcell <laughs> picks up five up the middle. Fantastic play. If they keep doing that, they got themselves a touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> As it has been all on the ground for both these teams. As we saw yeah. both as Anderson, of course, but that was a screen pass. And all that was we've a one thing. MA is screen passes and handing the ball, and all we've seen. Is and Moy Moy. Here comes Moy Moy, breaks a tackle, and he's pushed out of bounds around the eight yard line. And here we go. Third and one. Fifth and five. According to my bat, it's. Interesting right now on the scoreboard. And the give is right. Moy Moy first down. Uh, we have the sticks gone. And it's getting quite confusing late in the game. Cur it's second and five apparently. Okay, so it appears they're in the, within the 10 yard line, so it's uh, second and goal, I believe. Yeah. But about okay, yeah. fifth, five yard line, I think. I no. think the Gators are going to be looking for a screen pass here or a quick. Another hand out yeah, to Moy Moy. They put a man in mo motion. No, it's a kick right. Moment it's not Moy Moy. It is not Moy Moy. And it, it, he is tripped up and he goes down for a loss of one no, to Wysel. Gain of a yard. Still no, gain of a yard. It's third it was down. A, it was a gift to Wysel. Gain of a yard. Yes, thank you, Devin. It was a gain of a yard. There it is. was just a gift to Wysel and he was tripped up, falls out for a couple. Here we go. You Third think they're going to run it up the middle with Moy Moy is definitely the way to go here. Third it down. is. If Moy Moy's a great third down back, especially for short if, distances. If the Bears can pull up a stop right here, that's going to that's that's that, cost the Gators because they, they can't live on a field goal. That's also going to be a yeah. big decision for the coach. Here we go. They yeah. put another Moy man Moy. in motion. Moy Moy. Flags come it's all it. over the play, and they, the Bears fans think this one's coming back, and it is. That's not good. I mean, to give it to Mo Moy Moy, I think he might have gotten a touchdown. Full start on the there. offense. That's a bad play. You cannot give up a, a penalty, and that's just going to set him back even but further. The handoff was to Mahoney, not Moy My Moy. bad. I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, third down and third down and goal from the seven yard line. Third down and goal from the seven yard line, and this is where we're going to see the ball in the air. This is a huge play right here. Purcell yeah. under center. They send a man in motion a lot. They don't. Purcell no. defense in comes the pressure touchdown. 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 It's Frill again. Number thirty, Jake Frommel. It's been all him this drive. Um, that was that was. A nice play gift to Fromel, and let's see here if they go Going for, for two. And now this is the big. Not. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. If they went for two, that would have big changed the game, but it would have been dangerous. Yeah, because here you just need two PATs to take the lead. Why take any risks? Yeah, here almost blocked, no, and he, it no. is good. Good. Um, so they get the answer they f they were waiting for all of the last half. Sacred Heart Prep fans finally back in it. And a hush has fallen over this MA crowd. They were raucous in the first half. And MA needs to have one big play or just pick up a couple first downs to get their crowd back into it. Yeah, it looks like timeout here. As number 11 is back to kick, he's been do he has had most of the kicking duties Ryan Donnelly, he's the kicker, punter of a senior, 6 one 170. Back to receive. Two guys back to receive for MA. I mean, you can Franklin hear them. Franklin and Anderson. 
you can hear Sacred Heart, their crowd here. You can see them jumping when they got the touchdown in. They are excited and they want their team to win this game. Do you believe the hype? Karen, do you think they can come back and win this game? Of course, one touchdown. Any team can come back from one touchdown, but their defense looked great in the first half. I mean, yeah. Let's see how MA's offense responds here. I mean, yeah, you got about, yeah, you got 19 minutes left in this game, about seven minutes and 33 seconds left in the third quarter, and another 12 minute quarter to come back. It looks like they're gonna have to return that here. It's, and that's a Franklin. Turn up to he the 30 yard line. Walk down the right left sideline, my bad towards V, right in front of this MA crowd and MA bench. He was pushed out at the 37, I think. Yeah, that was Franklin, good return there. He'll get about, I think it was more like the 30 there, 29. As no flags came in, both sides wanted a flag actually. Everyone looking for a flag on that play, no one got it. Ball is placed on exactly the 30 yard line, first down and 10. as ball in the 30 yard line. There seems to be some confusion, ref standing in the middle of the play. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Kind of delaying here, at least the clock is not running, so. Seems to be some communication between the side referees. Yeah, about, I think it, I think it is about the spot of the ball. I think it was definitely around the 30. There's also an injury on the side. Of the on the MA sideline, so yeah, there is there might injury. be some concern there. But nevertheless, here goes the MA Bears trying to take it back. That's Price. On the handoff. Give right. Franklin gets wow. a block up the right sideline. He's still going. Tackles. He's still going. Cuts it back inside. He's going backwards now. But he broke a tackle, picked up another seven. Great play. Wow. Up to the 49. Incredible play there, gaining all. I Almost mean, 20 yards. that's showing what he is all about. Wow. 19 yard pickup there for Franklin. Price in the quarter, in at quarterback. They went with McLeod for the start. But Price has come off the field after one play. They go back to McLeod. An interesting choice by Coach Ravapati. Yeah, McLeod, he'll take it. McLeod in the gun, fires the screen pass to Franklin. Takes it right. Has five, 10, cuts out to the 40. Breaking tackles, it takes three sacred heart defenders to bring him down. First down and 10. They are driving here with McLeod on the field. The Gators having a really tough time taking down Franklin here and that's what MA is trying to abuse. They're trying to hand it off to Franklin, throw it to yeah. Franklin, or get a screen on him has worked really well. That's been three plays in a row where they've gone to Franklin. It's a give right. Down it goes, another first down. The Gators yeah. defense cannot catch up with this offense, moving so quickly downfield. It's yeah. Ty Fui again. He had himself one heck of a first half. McLeod gives up the middle to Toy Fu. Inside the 20, inside the 10. Wow. And this is what we've been wanting to see the whole time from this MA Bears offense. Yeah. This is the best drive they've had so far. By far, you're right, Kieran. MA Bears just moving so quickly up the field using Franklin as their tool for success. McLeod in the gun. He's gonna throw. Looks at their right sideline. Touchdown! MA crowd going crazy. He had a man, drops it in the corner of the end zone. Who else but Franklin? Wow, unbelievable. You see that replay, he gets both feet in. Incredible catch. And that took the life out of Sacred Hearts. Yeah, you can fans. just see their, their sideline and fan base just standing. Sorry, Shock, Casey. Because they just drove. That was the best drive we've seen all night. That's and in the comes MA Layla, offense. the kicker. That was the offense that we've seen many games before this. MA finally to find the Gators' weaknesses. 
Yeah. And take it all the way downfield. Wait, what? Oh, oh, no. The kick is blocked. What a play. And this is what the defense needed. Blocked by Ramsey. What a play. But let's go away. What chance have been silenced. And that's that's not her fault. That that was the offensive line. Ramsey got right through real quick. Yeah. So it says 19-17, a pair of extra points haunting the Bears. I mean, we'll see. Does it come back to haunt? Do they lose this game? They're winning by a lot. Devin, your thoughts now after that touchdown. Do you think MA can hold on and get the win in this game? It's or gonna do you be think real difficult for the Gators to come, come back from this. But we still got a lot of time left. We still got seven minutes remaining in the third. Yeah. Uh, if the Gators can go on a really fast rally here, they could have a chance. But I think the MA Bears. Yeah, I I, have I feel this like one. I feel like they 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 need to have a long drive and score maybe even get this under a minute, under two minutes here in this third quarter, make it a one score game, then who knows what can happen in the fourth. Layla not in the kick here. She's only for PATs. There you go. This wow. one kicked inside the five. It's gonna be a return and it's dropped at first. Here he goes right and he is brought down. This MA defense on special teams has been outstanding. Yeah. The Gators are able to bring it up to about 21 yard line. Yeah, that was Banks going right. Had, had trouble catching the ball at the beginning and it all went downhill from there. Their ball placed at the 22 yard line. Ball placed at the 22. Purcell, let's see what they do here. They did well last time. They had the ball, they have a man in motion. Purcell gives to Moy Moy up the middle, picks up three. <laughs> and that was a good run. And this is what their defense, I mean, this is what their offense has done all night. And this is what they need right here, a long, run time off the clock and try to get your team in a position to win it late. Yeah. Moy Moy off the field here. Purcell with a man in motion. Drops back to pass, fires right, it's caught. Pushed out of bounds right where he caught it. Was Mackey. Third down coming. Third down and six. Let's see if the MA Bears can stop the Gators on their first attempt. It's only six yards left for the Sega Hart needs to go, but. So this is where we're gonna see Purcell's arm again. Purcell. Let's see if they put him in the gun. They don't do that a lot. Nope, he's under center. MA Bears bring pressure. Purcell rolling left. Is the pressure gonna get to him? He waits! Oh, wow. He evades pressure right! He evades pressure left being chased down! Throws oh. it out of bounds. As he just throws it away. That Purcell ball. evaded pressure for so long. That was really close, I think. Threw it away. He was in throwing motion. He almost got fumbled, strip fumbled during the throw. That would have been devastating. Yeah. He was lucky to get it run. off. Yeah, a great play. Right behind him pressuring him. Yeah. A just great play by there. Purcell. A great mm -hmm. play. I mean. Not a millisecond too soon for Purcells, and we know if that's a, that's going to be a problem. It looks like they are going to punt. Yeah, and they are punting from deep in their own territory. You hate to see this. This is what this is just what couldn't happen. But this shows how good MA is on both sides of the spectrum. Their defense just gets the ball to their offense. You know what I mean? It's great. The kick. Oh, Anderson it's a high. back to receive. A sky kick, and it's gonna 
go out of bounds. That took a the big NA bounce. Though. 44. It got out of bounds quick, and now they'll be around the 40s. Yeah, as you said, 44. Yeah, 45 yard lines where the ball is spotted for the Bears. This can be a put away drive for MA. I mean, yeah, there, I mean, there is a whole quarter left of football, but I don't know. That's just not enough to get as much as they need. As it is Price. Price in there after McLeod had a great drive last time. I don't know why they wouldn't stick with him, but they go with Price. But give up the middle to Toy Foy. And oh! He takes a huge hit. Off comes his helmet. No flag. He seems to be fine. A humongous hit. Yeah. The helmet just came flying off. That's dangerous. That's really dangerous. Price. Hands it off. Oh, there goes Sanchez. There we go. Sanchez, first down and more. Sanchez is a great running back, and we've seen MA have a great, unbelievable wide receiver core. And this running back core showed up tonight as they got Sanchez and, Tuf what is his name again? I'm sorry, I forgot. The Tafui? Tafui. Right, and, and that Sanchez. one is not going to pick up a lot. Only picks up three, and a flag comes in way late. Seems to be against MA. Yeah, yeah it's on the offense. It's gonna be a personal foul. Personal foul. Crowd doesn't like it. He's not happy about it. As you can see, he's definitely mad at himself. Number 77 there. First down and 25 to come. 15 yards for that personal foul. That will put them pretty much back at midfield. Costly penalty for the Bears. Yeah, cannot let that happen. Price, second and 21. Price in the gun. We have not seen McLeod there, but we've seen a lot of Price there. Price. Price, evading pressure, throws, caught. Down on the 36. That's gonna get it past the, where the Devin. original line of scrimmage is, third and nine. That was definitely a run pass option. Price was looking to take off, but he saw no open ground, so he decided to take the correct option and the throw to the wide open Anderson. And that worked out great, but unfortunately they had a they were way behind at 25 yards. Yeah, a but big, now they're just within nine. A big, pitcher, a big pick up of 14, third and nine. Looking for the pass. And he sacked, brought down. Sacred Heart Prep was all over it. Hardy on the sack. The defensive lineman and out. I think we might see the punt scene. Price still on the field. And they're going for it at midfield and what do you have to lose here? Oh, a punt would not give you that many yards and they only have the ball at midfield. Price, no, they need 15. Big matchup here. Big momentum shifting play right here. Price in the gun, it's a screen pass. No now it's blocks. up to Franklin, what, he can, what can he do? Push to the sideline, dragged out of bounds. Yeah. I agree that there might, maybe should have been a flag on the play, but we don't see anything, and Coach Ravapati is losing it. That is players and the referees. He think A, that play should have been executed, but there was definitely a call that could have been made. Parcel back out there, trying to get his team within a score. Let's see what he can do. Purcell, under center, has Moy Moy to his right, but gives to, not Moy Moy. The give is to Mahoney, Mahoney. Or is that, yeah. that's Mahoney going right. 
Picks up four. Second and six coming. This would be, so this, this, is, this possession is a real tipping point in this game. But give is up the middle, pile being pushed. That was Mahoney again. The Gators can get a score here. No, beg your pardon, that was Tonus who goes up the middle. As it is homecoming game here at MA. That's why they have a huge crowd and they are roaring. Third and one, big play. The give to Mahoney. I think he's short. Like Karen said, it's homecoming night tonight. The MA Bears fans are thrilled to see the scoreboard here 19 to 7. Bears lead the Gators tonight. Just a bit left to go here in the third quarter. But the Bears looking like they have this one in the bag. Second and nine to go. Big play coming up here. Parcel in the gun. He's gonna roll right and he goes down for a loss. A huge play for the Bears. Third down and 12. 15 seconds to go, let's see if they wanna run a play. As that's gonna do it for the third quarter. It's been a great third quarter as it's set 19-7 the Bears. We're in for a good one, so stick around. As welcome back, here we go for the fourth quarter of action, 19 to seven. It is, is a great game we have in store. Let's see what, let's see what they can do. Twelve minutes to go in the fourth. The ball's on the 48 yard line. Purcell avoids the pressure right. Has a long way to go. He might just tuck it and run. He looks deep. Their own and caught. It's caught. Oh, unbelievable. Deflected twice and caught. What a play. That was incredible. As a inappropriate chant rolls through this Bears crowd, first down and 10 from the 38, 11, 46 to go in a 12 point game. You got SPDs? You got SPDs? 
Parcel wants to throw it long. He's just going to tuck it and run. And oh. he is. Two MA. Three MA defenders all converge on him. Picks up five. It's two of those MA defenders were looking to clock him, but they both missed, luckily for Sacred Heart. Second and three, 11 minutes to go. They need a touchdown on this drive. They need two to tie. The up the middle give is to Mahoney. It's gonna be close. to go, it's third down and one. Big play here. But give and he's bottled Man. up. He is bottled up and dropped. And here we go. Biggest play of the game coming up is this fourth down. Oh. oh. A flag, flag comes in late. That's gonna be an unnecessary celebration for the Bears. Horrible call. Wow, a terrible call. They've been, they've been missing all the easy ones and then they come on and make that one. Shocking. Unbelievable. And yeah, you can see MA Coach is hot. Yeah, Coach Robbie Potty, oh yeah, he is hot. He is hot. That's the kind of thing you see in the NFL. These kids are watching those games. They do the same thing and then they get penalized for it. That's just stupid. I've never seen anything like that. That is really dumb. Unbelievable. Ten oh eight to go in a nineteen seven game. The Bears lead it at home, trying to win this one for their homecoming crowd. First and ten because of the foul. He goes right and he's tackled for a pickup of five. Clock running, clock running in MA's favor. And they just are trying to run this clock down as low as it can go. Nine thirty to go. As Sacred Heart fans, silent, they know they need to get a touchdown on this drive. Yeah. I mean, even they, if they do, they're still really low on time. Up the middle. Oh, Mahoney. Bit of extra business going on behind the play, and no flag. That's what I don't get. There was no flag on that play, and that should have been like some some. Something, at least thrown something. Third down and three to go. Big play coming here. Parcel looking, looking for the play from his coach. Under nine minutes, you can see them getting antsy on the far, <clears throat> the far section for the Sacred Heart. Prep fans, yeah, not they've too come happy all this way. This yeah. But they're in the red zone now, let's see what they do. Quick run up the middle, that's gonna get them inside the 10. It's gonna be fourth down and short. Let's see if they give them the first down. Yeah. Nope, it's fourth down. Looks like they're gonna give them the first. That's first and goal on yeah. the nine yard line. They drive it inside the 10 yard line to the eight. This is where they need to come away with points to pick could put this one to bed or a stall. There's no way they line up for a kick down 12. That they is need. not what you want as the Gators. You want to get this touchdown in and try to make it back up. But with this Bears defense, they could have a really hard time doing that. So they need to get focused and get this in. Parcel, they move to the hurry up offenses. Give right Mahoney inside the five. And I think they're going to need to throw the ball once to at least stop this clock. Second down from the four upcoming. Yeah.
I mean, this is crunch time here. I mean, you know, clock's ticking down. There's about seven minutes, 40 seconds left. I mean, is this time to get a score, make a stop, and get another score, and be able to go for how many points they need? I it's mean, up the middle to Mahoney inside the one touchdown. touchdown. Sacred Heart. There we go. That's big. That's big. Sacred Heart fans loving it. 7:31. We have a ball game, folks. Yeah. We still got seven minutes left to go in this fourth quarter. So, Kieran, do you think we could see SHP bringing this back? Um, I I personally do not see Sacred Heart coming back mm -hmm. in this game. Yeah. As they go for two and are stopped. I do not agree with that call to go for two. Yeah, Sacred Heart just needs to get points on the board at this point. Yeah, six point game, 7.31 to go. Let's see if it's McLeod or Price. This is a situation where you want Price because he's the better runner. You want him to just be out sliding, keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds. I mean, McLeod yeah. is the one throwing though. Price is nowhere to be found on that sideline. McLeod playing catch with his number one receiver. He's playing class with Carson over there. Nineteen thirteen. Sacred Heart to kick it away. MA Bears have Franklin deep to receive. Franklin has been explosive tonight, especially on that last drive. Yeah. Look, a 19-13. Let's see how this one's gonna round out. It's a short kick, flags all over the play. They went with onside. That is shocking. As they, the call, they went for an onside kick. Now that would have been shocking. Let's see if they try it, if they go for a second time in a row. Now they're ready for it, so. Bravo Potty. Telling his team to go back. He's not expecting another onside kick. They have four men lined up ready to take it. No, Robert Potty's not signaling to watch the onside. He lined up looking like he was going to kick it offside. Onside. As he was lining up to kick it one direction. Here it is. Yep, he's going to go like full, kick. full kick. Wow. And a good kick as it is fielded by Franklin at the one. Here he goes right. Makes a man miss, makes another man miss. Has a block down the rest. 20, 25, 30. Oh my oh, God. He's across midfield. 50. He's pushed out of bounds inside the 45 yard line. Wow. He takes it 44 yards. First down, Bears. What a run. That's exactly what they needed. Set up with great field position, and that just. Put all the air back in the stadium as it was all gone. But now they're set up well for a touchdown with Cloud on the field. McLeod on their center. Oh, and he drops to the gun. First time we've seen this tonight. 7.18 to go. McLeod with the snap. Give up the middle to Moy Moy with the. Tafui. It was Tafui up the middle, picked up five. Picked up six, beg your pardon. Seven minutes to go, they're running a hurry up offense. Tafui has a hole, first down. Now, Sacred Heart D, if you're Sacred Heart D, you are like freaking out right now. They're getting quick snaps, quick movement down the field. And yeah, I mean, that, I think that missed two point conversion is gonna come back to bite them. 
I mean, but I agree with the call to go for two. Make it into a, uh, make it into so you, if, even if they get a field goal, you can tie. I actually like the two point call looking back on it, but McLeod gives it up the middle to Toy. Fully 6.30 to go, and now clock really working in MA's favor. McLeod, give up the middle, has a hole right, knocked down third, down and short, upcoming. Yeah. They'll probably run this to about the six minute mark. Yeah, here we go. Snap there, up and the middle, nothing. It's gonna be close, he reached. First down, yeah. Sacred Heart not happy, but it was a first down, which stops the clock with 6.05, and they just wanna get it running mm -hmm. again. McLeod in the gun, we haven't seen him there a lot tonight. Not he drops that. back to pass. Looks end zone, has a man! Touchdown! Touchdown! Wow. What a play! He finds him in the back of the end zone! Carson, what a catch by Carson. And Webb earlier in the broadcast just five minutes ago said, Carson ain't no wide receiver. Finds him there for the 20 yard score. I said he wasn't the number one. Yeah, but he's the number one on that play. He yes. finds the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Bears looking to double up, make it 26-13. He's not a five-star recruit, but he's still a very good player. And there, McLeod finds him in the back the of the end zone. Can she get it? Not blocked, Layla it's drills good. it. That's good. They rise as one here at Coach Parks Field as Layla drills it through. Another one bites the dust, played by the band. 26-13, and now they really have to pull something off here. <laughs> Sacred Heart Prep. Needs to score 13 points in 550 without giving up a score. Do we think they can do it, Devin? I don't think Sacred Heart uh, is going to be able to make it. The MA defense has been looking. That may, excuse me. The MA offense has been looking really good, and I don't think their defense can protect against that. Yeah, I got it. Even if with the you. Bears get the ball, if they score again, it's over. And. We only have five more minutes left in this game. Yeah, I think it's already over. I don't really yeah. know. It's I really think it's already over. But regardless, here goes M.A. kicking off the Sacred Heart. We got five minutes left to go, 26-13. But you never know. It's high school football as the ball has fallen off the tee. Torres and Kishan back to receive. Here we go, driven. It will be caught at the five. Going right, we think we see a block on the right side. No foul, he gets out to the 26. Let's see what they can do. <clears throat> they need to pass the ball and keep the clock stopped. Gotta throw the ball deep if you ask me. It's time to test the defense. In the gun, Parcel rolling right. Escapes the pressure, he's just gonna scramble and down he goes. In the gun again. 
Parcel throws it as he throws. Short. Incomplete. Just missed. That's going to bring up third down. Yeah, and they have to go for it on fourth. Obviously, down 13 with so little time to go. They need a touchdown. And then, of course, a onside kick. We saw them try to get one earlier. They, they are going to have to try again. Third down and five. Huge moment in this game. They have two downs to get five yards. Parcel looks, has a man, it's takes a goal touchdown. He's, He's gone. gone. He's gone. No one's going to catch 20, him. 10. Touchdown. touchdown. Wow. Hardy, his second of the night. Touchdown. All right. Sacred Heart. Now, this is big. And now. It is seven point game. Now let's see if they go for an onside kick. Yeah, you can or, see this replay or, here. or maybe you trust your defense. You let one fly and trust your defense. Well, we got five minutes left. So this is turning into a winnable game for Sacred Heart. Now, this next drive, we've seen they've had, their defense has not looked good. Do you take the onside kick or do you rely on your defense? Yeah, I think a lot's gonna depend off this one goes in. It does. Oh, man, he drilled that. That went right over the back fence. He got a lot of that football. So that hyped, had So more. hyped up after that touchdown. Cause all they need is one more touchdown. But the MA Bears got one more possession after this. But if they go for the onside kick, we can see the Gators have another opportunity. Yeah. So this is a huge moment. Do you trust your defense or do do you trust your defense or do you do you go for the onside putting MA in great field position? Here we go. We can't tell what they're gonna do when they wind up. Five oh one to go. Let's real quick. What do we think the decision's gonna be, Devin? Onside or trust your defense? I I, I think what they should do is an onside kick. But doesn't look like it. Never doesn't know. look like it. MA's lining up deep with two receivers in the back. They keep the same Franklin and Franklin back. Here it is. It's, it's an onside, onside kick. Onside kick. They, oh! Did they get it? It's SHP recovered is the ball. by Sacred Heart has the football. SHP is the ball. And oh, no. and oh my goodness, a huge hit administered on the Sacred Heart kicker and he's down. Another, oh my, these refs, unbelievable. Come on, you they, gotta call that. It, the, the, it was a huge hit, but there was, a, there was no foul on the play, it was a legal hit. Everyone was rushing for the ball, just got caught up in there. Kicker and he can't was keep up with those way big into, but that is big for Sacred, Sacred Heart. Heart. Has the ball a touchdown and a PAT wins this. I am a believer, and I know Casey over there. What do you on mean? The Two place. minutes ago, you said this game is over. You know what? I stand by jinxing this game, all right? <laughs> 4.58 to go, and he's walking off the field. Sacred, both fans standing and cheering. A good moment of sportsmanship here. Really tough play, but a super good outcome for the Gators there. Now <laughs> they have the ball. All they need is one touchdown. A perfect onside kick yeah, by the kicker. Great, great execution, outside. great execution. And I don't think MA was expecting it. Yeah, no. Donnelly, no, no, Donnelly no. just chipped it beautifully. He got a hand on the ball. And the, and the MA parents trying to get their students that section into the game. Sacred Heart has the ball. What a ball game. Yeah. Six point game, both teams, three timeouts, 4.58 to go. Clock stops down to first down. Parcel. 
Oh, wow. And a nice play. It was a gift in behind the line trickery. They've done a lot of that. It was Weissel picks up a couple clock runs. Well, if I jinx this game, man, it's not going to be good. They've got second down and six here. As the Sacred Heart fans taking over a little bit. Clock as they are running. loving it. Clock is running. Usually Sacred Heart has a pretty quick turnover. Don't think they realize downs. there. No, and, and, they go. And, and, and if you're Sacred Heart, you want to milk this clock and then score with five seconds. You don't want to put McLeod oh, back no. on the field. Bottled up! A loss of yardage. It's going to be a third and about nine. Huge play. It's obviously fourth down territory. Again, two chances yep. to get nine yards. Franklin's gonna play safety, it looks like. Sagerhart prep, Purcell back to pass. He's, he's, not, oh. he's not gonna go down. He's he going up first and down. finds his tight end. First he down. He finds his tight end across the middle. First down, clock stops. This place is shocked. Look at it again, he just escapes from the pressure and finds his tight end who just takes the hit. Great play by Purcell there. He goes right through all the pressure and finds Fromel the again. End, main man tight end. Fromel, the big tight end made that catch. 3.24 to go. Purcell. Field goal does nothing here. They put a man in motion again. But give up the oh. middle, he has a hole. First down. Tonas, the running back. Third string running back. Right up the middle. 3.13 to go. Clock running again. This play's gonna be snapped with under three minutes to go. And just one thing to note, that that was the kicker Donnelly who was hurt and helped off last play. They need the extra point to take the lead in this game. That yeah. could come back here later. That's gonna be a big extra point. That extra point is crucial. We've seen, we saw one miss. Two act. missed already. Two oh, wow. missed already this game. You guys realize. That's a serious talk. I'm telling you, if Sacred Heart comes back to win this game, as you said, it's gonna come back to bite him. It's about to come back to bite him. Under 30 seconds, he makes a man miss. He's still gonna lose yardage. That's gonna line him to be second. Andres Torres loses a couple. 2.22 to go. Clock is running. And now both student sections. Up standing. on their feet. It's a tense Silent game. Silent though. Neither quite neither taking full control. This game hangs in the balance. Second and 14. Yeah. Purcell's gonna have to throw the ball. 2.06 to go because it was a run play. We're under two minutes. Defense, chant. It's the parent section. Parcel under pressure. If he goes down, this could do it. Parcel, he's, he's down. down. He's down. Parcel Ball down. Ball's out. Ball's, out. Ball's out. It's recovered. It's recovered by Sacred Heart. Clock running, they're gonna have to call timeout. Low spay, it's third and 14. They're gonna have no, to call timeout. Me. Oh, wow, the ball was loose. That could have ended the game right there. No timeout called. 128 and counting. It's third and very long. And I, they just have to call a timeout. What's going on? Come on, coach. It's confusion on the sideline. No, this is, this is obviously a blatant call. Third and 20. They have two plays, obviously. Parcel. Parcel is going to be tested. His arm is going to be tested. One. Oh, six to go. The game on these two plays. He's in the shotgun. Pass. He throws, caught, right. No, he didn't get the first. No, it's third down, he did not get the first. It will set up a fourth and 10. Fourth and 10, they're at the 30 yard line. And there, yeah. the timeout, timeout comes in, called. 50 seconds to go. Fourth and 10, here comes the ball game. They're within field goal range, but that's not what they need. They need a touchdown, and I think they're Field go goal is it. not even a thought in their mind. A nope. field goal right here is like- Ends the game for them. Yeah, anything but a touchdown, this ball game is over. Fourth and 13, the spot. Timeout was called by Sacred Heart. They have two left. 50.4 seconds to go. If they don't get this, 
this one is pretty much over. Those two timeouts can come in handy later on in the game if they get this first down. But later their first on in step, the next 50 seconds. Their first step is to get this first down. They, they need to get the first down, either get out of bounds or call time. And so here, 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 like t taking a sack means nothing. Like he, he's going to take the sack if, if he has to because he's, he just has to be running around looking for a first down target. And he, and he pretty much just can't throw the ball if it's not a first down. He might even see a lateral if he has an open man in front of a first down. The MA defense getting their crowd into it. Both Joe student and parents, they rise as one. The MA flag being waved on the sideline. Here we go. The defense, the offense comes onto the field. Parcel has to be in the shotgun. He is. He is. Ooh, MA Bears moment. not gonna be pressure. Here it is. Crucial Parcel. What's the call? Timeout Time Bears. Oh man, I like that. The crowd was all excited. And but just like that. Ravapati didn't like something he saw. Calls a quick timeout. And we're gonna break again. Oh. My goodness. You see this play again. This is a play from much earlier in the game. You see that great throw by Several passes like these yeah, were what brought the MA Bears to this lead. There's but also sacking. what got them sacked. Going for these plays, unfortunately, have these consequences. Yeah, great job so far from Sacred Heart. Their D's been pretty good. Their offense has been a bit sluggish. But let's see what Purcell can do here. Big moments. Can the MAD come up big? And likewise for Sacred Heart, had some great passing as well. And Both teams back on the field again. Here we go. Here we go. And they get excited, and here comes the noise from MA. They're loud. They want this. As we're now having scoreboard malfunctions. Oh, no. What a time to have scoreboard problems. The scoreboard saying everything but 50.4 seconds. As a conversation between the ref and the scorer's booth they're saying they cannot put 0.4 seconds on the clock. They're having to round down to 50 seconds, it looks like, they, from 51.4. But still some confusion on the topic as they talk it out. Oh my goodness. There's been so much time between that third down play and this fourth down play, the game. Hanks in this one play right here. Here we go. This is what here the it game is. has come down to. Everyone in this stadium, Sacred Heart fans, MA fans, all cheering right now. Sacred Heart lines it up, ready to go. Here we go. Here we go. The snap to Parcel. Parcel. He's sitting, waiting, looking. It's complete, it's over! It's over! The MA Bears have won it! No flags down! MA takes down Sacred Heart. Oh my goodness! I don't believe it, it was in his hands. Even if he'd caught it though, he would have been short. Underthrown ball from Parcel. And my goodness. 
a well fought game as fans beginning to stream out of here as this one looks to be over. Still got 43. Yeah, 43. Two timeouts seconds. though. Neils will, Neils will do it. Niels will do it. Yeah, Niels will do it. Sweet Caroline is being sung by the MA students. And now what's the problem? Just snap the ball and drop to an E and this one should be over. McLeod, they're not in victory formation. It just has to be a run play. Low snap, run up the middle. Ooh. Bottled up for a loss, timeout Sacred Heart. Now this is 48 strips, seconds. This is strip sack zone, that's all they want right now. Yeah, they have to be going for a sack and nothing more. Strip sack, they need to get the ball out of his hands. It looks like there's more confusion. More confusion here. Timeout was called. Clock is running for some reason. What is happening on the field? Refs having a conference. This is getting a little ridiculous. Yeah, this is uh, too much. I just I don't understand this anymore. as they put 47 seconds on the clock and take a timeout away. As both teams come into a huddle here, they know the game's over. Even with timeouts, this one should be over. And a pick six. Can you make but, anything but the change? But the ball's not going to be thrown. It's high school football, Kieran, as you said before. They're and not going to be throwing the ball. But unless there's a huge hit and the ball comes out, that's not going to happen. A pick six is definitely not going to happen. There's no way in hell Robin Potty throws the ball. And if he does, then we know for a fact something's up. Maybe they run a run play and then just take a sack or slide or kneel. But Safety here we go again, finally, Safety. 47 <laughs> seconds to go. Panning out the options of what could happen, but not what will happen, which we'll, we're about to find out after all this confusion, we'll finally have a snap. We've now got 47 seconds left on the clock. And the Emmett ref. Bears have it. Second down. Here we go. Yeah, to give right. He's going to the sideline, and you see him come back, and he's just going to take the hit and go down. That he was, was almost a very Yeah, he was scary. so close to going to the sideline. Another timeout called. With stops the clock at 36.5. It's third down. If they run it here, they should be able to run out the clock. Third down, though. Wait, they might have to punt the ball away. They might have to punt the ball away with one second on the clock. If he goes down here and doesn't pick up a first down, they might have to punt the ball away with one second on the clock, and then it'll be a kick six situation. You never know. I mean, Hail Mary. No, there'll, there'll be no time on the clock, so uh, they'll have to just lateral around until they get a touchdown. <laughs> Sounds like fun. It, it is. Auburn against Alabama in 2015, we saw a kick six. Let's see if we see one here, and of course, both teams go into a huddle. They can't just call a 30-second timeout. A big play, actually, coming here for the Bears. Let's see what they're going to do. I say you stay run with the ball and can't have one second or win it. First down ends it. And we're watching more replays from the game. As 
Here's the situation, 36.5 to go. It's third and five. If they pick up a first down, it's over. Sacred Heart Prep out of timeouts. If they don't pick up a first down, with I think about one second on the clock, the NA Bears are just gonna have to punt the ball away. Or else this game would be over if they didn't have to punt the ball away because then the clock would just run out. The refs are on the field again. Rob Apati having a talk with both the referees. The last a minute, the last 54 seconds have taken seven minutes. This is ridiculous. Now we got lights too, we gotta go home. I mean, we got things on the weekend. Kieran, you uh, got your talk. Here we go, I think we're finally getting uh, started stuff. here. Come on. Um, here we go. <laughs> A kneel, they can't kneel. They have Carson lined up alone on the close side. And yeah, there it is. They drop to an E and this one's over. As the clock is just gonna run out. Ravapati keeping his team on the sideline. 21 seconds. Clock running down with this 16, 15, 14, 12. Yeah, that's gonna do it. 13, as both teams walk to their sideline. And this place is clearing out quickly. That is it. 10 seconds. What on the a game. Clock. We've that seen a great it. one here in Menlo Atherton with your final Bears 26, Gators 20, and MA fans loving it. My goodness, what a game. McLeod, everyone pitching in, a real team effort. The teams. Handshake and hug. This ended Ev up being a close one. The Bears taking it home 26 to 20. Thank you everyone who's watching, listening. Uh, thank you to our entire MC Sports student crew. It's been a great game. Thank you to the crowd. Thank you to the players, obviously, for giving Can't us forget, moi, such moi. a show. <laughs> moi Moi had himself a game. He could even be the player of the game. But his team didn't hey, come out on top, but sadly. Thank you for the entire MC Sports student crew for Casey in the first half, Lev Olulong and Devin Mahaffey. I'm Kieran Costa. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Have a great night.